so uh, we will quickly revise all the concepts of agreement with subject today so first use was the use of and right so with and we know that whenever we add two subjects with the help of and what happens is they become a plural compound subject and because they become a plural compound subject therefore they take a plural verb so we will place are or have as you can see in these cases that the cat and dog are great friends so hum and anil have bought a new car this is the simplest of the concepts you know about it that when something is added uh, with the help of and then uh, it becomes plural and we always use plural verb with it now we will come to the second concept use of or nor either and neither let's see what happens in these cases when two singular subjects are joined by words or nor neither or either they require a singular verb so now this is very important in the case of and it became plural and therefore plural verb was required but when these words are used like or nor neither or either they require a singular verb so now we will see with the help of examples how or nor neither or either are used for example in the first case you see my uncle or my cousin so now over here we are not using and but we are using or so what is happening is is coming right in case of either also either is fine then you can see in the case of neither nor either or now in these cases also was and is has been used but there is a catch over here in the cases of when we use or neither and either alone then we always use singular verb but when the construction is of the nature of neither nor when both are present like over here neither nor is present either and or both are present then in these cases what we have to see is the subject that is closest to the verb if it is singular then the verb is also singular if it is plural then the verb is also plural i will show you in the next slide what i am trying to say let me change the slide yes so now over here you can see my uncle or my cousins are coming over neither the team members nor the manager is in office today so what is happening as soon as the manager is closer we are using is but when team members that is plural is closer to the verb so we are using are so what happens in these cases that uh, we see the subject uh, if the subject is plural then the verb also becomes plural if the subject is singular then the verb is also singular in nature so uh, if both the subjects are singular then there is no problem then uh, always it is going to be singular only and if the both the subjects are plural then also there will be no problem then the verb will always be plural but if one of the verbs of a compound subject is singular and one of the verbs is uh, one of the subject is singular and one of the subject is plural then we will see that uh, the subject that is closest to the verb we will check that subject whether it is singular or plural if it is singular then the verb is also singular like in the first case manager was singular so we use is and in the second case we reverse the position of the subjects and now team members was closer to the verb that is plural that is why we have used are as the plural verb so this is the only difference when we use either or neither and nor all right now we will move to the next concept now we will talk about indefinite pronouns like anyone everyone someone no one nobody now in these cases there is a general rule that whenever these pronouns are used they are always singular and take singular words so always remember this that whenever you find words like anyone everyone someone no one nobody 
in all these cases, what is going to happen? You are always going to use singular verb. All right. For example, everyone has to wear their uniform tomorrow. Somebody has left their wallet. So we are using has and not have in this case. Then now when a phrase comes in between subject and a verb, verb has to agree with the subject nor with the nouns or pronouns in the phrase. For example, neither you know is a singular thing because whenever we use neither, we use singular with it, right? So when we say neither of the phones, though phone is plural over here, but because we always use singular uh, verb with neither, that is why we are using singular verb over here also. So we will say neither of the phones is working. So in if uh, either was written over here, then also we would have said either of the phones is working. All right. So we can, whenever we use either or neither, we try and use the singular verb only. We will ignore that uh, what is present in the phrase of the phone. This is a prepositional phrase followed by a preposition of. So over here, even if the phone is plural, then also what is going to happen because neither is the subject over here, neither is a singular thing. That is why we are using a singular verb also over here. Okay, now we move to the next concept. The sentences that uh, start with there is and there are. In these cases, because now, the verb is coming at the beginning only. R is present, is is present. So it is being said that whatever subject we attach after the verb should match with the singularity or the plurality of the verb. For example, when we use there is at the beginning of the sentence, then the subject should also be singular. So over here, we have uh, used no reason over here. There is no reason to worry. And when we start the sentence with there are, so are is the verb over here. So we have used plural subject that is many parts, right? So this is what is being said that the sentences that begin with there is or there are have the subject following the verb. Therefore, the verb must agree with the subject. So the subject that is used must be in consonance with the singularity or the plurality of the verb. Now, I have already told you this concept also that uh, when we use a large amount of sum of money or uh, distance or time, and when they are considered to be a single unit, then also they take singular verbs. For example, 10 lakh is a huge sum of money, is a lot of money. So, so when we say this, we consider 10 lakh to be a unit, a sum of money. So because we are considering it to be a unit or a sum of money, that is why we are using a singular verb. Similarly, in case of the second example, five kilometers, we are considering it to be a unit which is too far to walk. So we are considering it to be a unit of distance. And that is why we are using a singular verb in this case also. So when all these things, uh, whether we are talking about distance, we are talking about a period of time or a sum of money, when they are considered to be a small unit, then we use a singular verb with them. Clear? All right. Now we come to some more examples. When a singular subject is separated by uh, from the verb by phrases such as along with, as well as, besides, not. They are not part of the subject and we use a singular verb only. So now uh, for the, these cases over here, we only consider the first thing that is present at the beginning because the things that are present after as well as or along with they are not considered to be a part of the subject. You can see they are not part of the subject. So we use singular or a plural verb according to what is present over here at the beginning. 
for example in the first case the minister is present at the beginning and then his brothers has been added after as well as so his brothers will not be considered to be part of the subject so according to the minister we are going to use is over here all right and in the second case you see the ministers is plural and it is present before as well as and after as well as the mps is present and we are not going to consider the mps that is present after as well as because it is not considered to be a part of the subject so according to the ministers we are going to use are because the ministers is a plural subject over here the minister that was present was a singular subject so when we add two things with the help of along with and as well as and also besides so in these cases we only consider the thing that is present before them the thing that is added after these things is not considered to be a part of the subject then subjects that are plural in form take a singular verb for example subjects like mathematics and physics you can see in these cases s is present at the end but it does not make them plural all right so you are always going to use is after them you can even say economics as a subject so economics also has s at the end but it will always use singular verb all right now we come to the cases of collective nouns so in collective nouns also what happens that we consider them to be a unit because they are a collection or a unit they are taken as a unit such as a family group committee or class and they take a singular verb for example the crew is preparing for the landing so crew that is present on the plane the class is making uh, is making a lot of noise so class over here is a collection of student so it is a collection a unit all right so all the students collected together form a class a unit so when we say this class we don't say this class are making a lot of noise we will always say this class is making a lot of noise because that is the case uh, with collective nouns that they are considered to be a unit and they take singular verb with them then uh, we come to plural indefinite pronouns i told you that uh, uh, plural uh, singular indefinite pronouns always take singular verb right but in case of plural indefinite pronouns we will have to check uh, what is present after them for example most both several some they are all examples of plural indefinite pronouns so we will have to check the prepositional phrase in this case when we will check the prepositional phrase then only we will come to know what is the verb that we are going to use with them for example in the first case because it was written a cake most of the cake so we are talking about a single cake so uh, that is why we are going to use was over here and in the second case uh, we are talking about the student this is something plural most of the students that is why we are using have over here so there is a major difference between singular indefinite pronouns and plural indefinite pronouns because in cases of plural indefinite pronouns we will have to see what is present in the prepositional phrase and then only we are going to decide whether we are going to use singular verb or a plural verb but in cases of singular indefinite pronouns like in the last case where we saw uh, we used either i think either we used or neither we used we will go back yes over here neither of the phones is working so in this case we were using uh, indefinite pronoun that was of uh, you can say singular nature so in these cases we always use singular verbs all right so that will be a big difference whenever you come to plural indefinite pronouns you are always going to check all right you are always going to check what is present in the prepositional phrase if it is a singular noun in a or a pronoun in the prepositional phrase you are going to use a singular verb 
and if a plural uh, pronoun or a noun is present then you are going to use plural verb from where the noise is coming yes yes actually the, the, this thing was discussed the last time also maybe it was not a combined class so you don't know but i think sneha asked that question so when they represent a single idea joined by and then in those cases also we use singular verb for example when we say rajma and chawal is my favorite dish now in this case what is happening rajma and chawal are two distinct things right but when we add these two yeah. with the help of and they become a common dish one dish they represent one idea are you understanding so that is why we are using singular verb with them because they are becoming uh, though they are different from one another but uh, when they are joined together they form a vaishnavi mute yourself noise is coming so what happens they join together and they form a unit and idea for example people eat dahi jalebi together so dahi is again something different jalebi is something different but when they are combined together they become a unit and idea a dish dahi jalebi becomes a dish for us right rice and curry for example rice is something different curry is something different but when they are added together they are consumed together as a dish together they form a single dish curry and rice so that is why they, whenever two things are joined together and they create a singular idea a single idea in our mind a unit they create then also we use singular verb understood so please unmute so aspita Good morning, teachers. So, can you again explain me rule number nine? Don't say number. Tell me which rule. Uh, when a singular subject is separated from the verb by phrases, such as along with, as well as, beside, not, they all are right. not part of the subject. All, all right. Got it. So, you are talking about this one. so over here what is happening that uh, when two things are joined with the help of and or all right then in those cases what happens they form a compound subject when they are uh, joined with the help of and they form a plural compound subject and when they are joined with the help of or either or these things they form compound subject but that subject is not plural in nature but what happens in these cases when they are joined with the help of along with and as well as or besides they don't uh, the thing that is present after as well as or along with they are not considered to be a part of the subject only the first thing that is present before as well as or before along with that thing only is considered to be a part of the subject that is the difference all right so in cases where we have joined two things with the help of along with as well as and besides we are only going to consider the subject that is present before them and that is only our deciding factor according to which we are going to uh, make the verb singular or plural only the subject that is present before them is going to decide but in the other cases because they become a compound subject when they are joined with the help of and or either neither then in those cases we are going to see that whichever is closer if you remember right whichever is closer to the verb if it is singular or plural then we are going to decide according to that but in this case if you see the minister as well as his brothers is going to present why because after as well as whatever may be present this is not going to consider going to be considered a part of the subject only the thing that is present before as well as is going to be considered part of the subject so this is the difference uh, in the usage of along with as well as and beside all right anything else all right so now we can start with the exercise last 20 minutes are left right okay some more doubts are there 
या सुन्नति यस नेहा ओके सो यू ऑल आर रेजिंग यूर हैंड्स टू आंसर द एक्सरसाइज आई थॉट फॉर सम डाउट ओके 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 आई एम स्टार्टिंग द एक्सरसाइज Yes. So it's Neha. You can start. Neither is correct. Yes, because with neither we use singular. So neither is correct. All right. Now he's going to answer this. Sir Rishik, please unmute Rishik. Sir, my family loves to travel. Yes, Rishi, give me the reason also. Sir, because uh, uh, why loves and not love? Sir, because they are sir they are because uh, they are plural. Oh, so now you don't know the concept, Rishi. for verbs whenever s is placed before s it means it is a singular verb all right a lot of students have this confusion okay whenever we place s after a verb it means it is a singular verb note it down everybody who is listening and is having any confusion so loves is a singular verb and love is a plural verb for verbs it is totally opposite to nouns for nouns we add s to make it plural but for verbs we add s to make it singular so we go opposite in cases of verb so when you say love it becomes singular verb loves is a singular verb it is not a plural verb and why we have used singular verb you must know this also because here we are talking about my family and my family is a collective noun here all the members of the family are being taken as a unit as a collection so because it is a collective noun and collective noun taken as a unit takes singular verb and loves over here is is a singular verb so that is why we have used the loves over here all right so please unmute my aunt. so the answer will be here are my car keys yes so now i am talking about uh, my car keys that is something plural so we are going to use are over here here are my car keys okay All right. Now, Bhavya, sir, please unmute Bhavya. Uh, 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 sir, the answer is uh, anything is possible. Yes. Anything is possible. Because any me. anything is a singular, all right, subject. Yes, anything, sir. yes. Sir. is a yes, singular sir. subject Barely, so thank you sir okay sir now thank you sir welcome yes genia so please unmute genia pal good morning teachers good morning sir it will be some sugar is required for taste yes so now you can see what is happening in this example some is present yeah, because... and some is a plural indefinite pronoun but over here we have seen that we are talking about an uncountable noun or pronoun sugar cannot be counted right so that is why we are going to use singular verb in this case so we will say some sugar is required for taste all right now so please unmute surbhi
Sr. Vitri Pakistan. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, it is uh, some students uh, uh, some students are absent. Sir, can I give the reason? Yes, sir. Please. Sir, it is because the, stu uh, because the student is a uh, countable now we can count the number of students. So we are using here and, and because student uh, it, it, uh, it the student is having a S also. So we yes, are... yes. So subject is plural and it is countable. And we are using plural indefinite pronoun over here some. So we are going to check. And since we find that students is present over here, so we have used R over here. Correct. Yes, sir. Thank All you, right. sir. Sir, please unmute Pranjal Yadav. Good morning, yes. teacher. Good morning. In this sentence, we will use economics is a field of study because economics is a singular subject. So yes. we used we use is singular. Yes, even so, though S is present after economics, but we will use is. Right. So please unmute Anirudh. Thing is that so many hands are up. So, yes, yes, sir. Uh, you will require some time. I actually recognize them, sir. So actually, if uh, everything has uh, stabilized, uh, then you can give me the host ship also. If you have some problem. They are joining time and again. That's so all right, thing. sir. Then you can remain. Hmm. So Anirudh has pink background. Pink background. Yes, sir. You can quickly look at There's Navya Webho Anirudh. Fine. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, Anirudh. Yes, answer the last. Good morning, teachers. Sir, Good the morning. answer will be the crowd is getting angry. Yes, Anirudh. Tell me the reason. Sir, because it is a singular subject. So, sir, we are using is. Yes. Uh, why it is singular, you have not told? All right. No problem. Uh, the crowd over here is a collective noun again. Crowd is what? A collection of people, right? And a crowd is considered to be a collective noun. So that is why, because uh, collective nouns are considered to be a unit, so that is why we are using is over here. Because in cases of collective noun, we use singular verbs. All right, now we move to the next set of sentences. So please unmute Navya again in the pink background. Yes. So it will be statistics is my favorite subject. So statistics is my yes. favorite subject. So yes. it will be is because in subjects which are plural, we always use singular words. Yes. All right. Atufa, sir, please uh, unmute Atufa. Yes, Atufa, try. Not getting the idea? All right. Those trousers are made of wool. All right. So in cases where we see uh, things like pants, trousers, scissors. All right. If you want, you can note it down also where we uh, see things like trousers, pants, and scissors, we always use plural verb with them. All right. But when we uh, the usage is like this, a pair of scissors, 
a pair of trousers a pair of pants in those cases we use singular verb and if the word a pair is not mentioned uh, simply pants trousers and scissors are mentioned then we are going to use plural verb so note it down these are important concepts you should know about them that wherever whenever we see trousers pants scissors all these things we always use plural verb but if a pair of trousers a pair of pants a pair of scissors anything like that is given then we use singular because over there we are already saying a pair so that is why we use singular verb in those cases now atufa can you try the second one so please unmute atufa again will it be required or required not getting the idea all right navya you can answer so please unmute navya tell me it is required or required we will uh, will we uh, yes. require yes correct because here also we are talking about pants so when pants trousers and scissors all these things are present which are in pairs basically they are two for pants also you have two legs for scissors also you have two uh, for uh, all those things that are present like that we use plural verb but whenever we say a pair of scissors a pair of trousers a pair of pants then only we use singular verb so over here because we uh, didn't mention anything like a pair of so we are going to use plural verb and plural verb is required only when we add s after requires then only it will become singular because for verbs they become singular when we use s after them all right now see ansh or let's uh, unmute angel singh 7a okay sir angel yes angel angel unmute yourself not getting the permission angel angel first unmute yourself then give the answer so please unmute brajin maybe there is some network issue yes yes brajin i think un i unmuted shubhangi all right so whoever has been unmuted can give the answer yes, shubhangi um sir its answer will be 5 dollars is a lot of money yes correct because we are taking 5 dollars as a single unit of money right so that is why we yes, are going sir. to say is a lot of money so the person must be very poor because Five for him. Five dollars is also a lot of money. All right. Now Sneha, sir, please unmute Sneha. Yes, sir, Sneha. <clears throat> sir, for this one, nobody knows where Priya is. So we are of. using because uh, nobody we consider indefinite pronouns as singular. Yes. so we are going to use knows and knows is singular form of verb so always remember that whenever we add s after the verb it becomes singular all right 
Now, Sneha, you can answer this one also. You asked the jury question the last time, I remember. Yes, sir. The jury has finally reached a decision. Yes. Sir, because, we are using yes. Yes. Jury is a here a collective noun. Yes. And everybody is acting uh, is on the same page. They are in unison, right? They have a unity yes. amongst them because they have finally, uh, the jury has finally reached a distance. But when they are divided in their opinion, then what happens? Then we consider each member to have an individual opinion, right? So in that case, we will say have. So when it is like uh, the jury uh, have a divided opinion, all right. So whenever yes. the opinion is divided, we will use have. And when they are unanimous, they are in unison with their discipline, then we will use has. So this is a difference. You will have to watch out for the sentence that is given to you. Okay, now, sir. Thank you, sir. sir. Please unmute, Genia. Okay, sir. Yes, Genia. Sir, it will be each of the boys has received an award. Correct. Sir, because each is a indefinite singular pronoun. Singular indefinite pronoun. Yes. Answer the second one also. We will move on quickly. Sir, each actor and actress has a line in the play. Yes. Over here also we are going to use has only. Because with each, it will always be has. So you should know about it because it is always singular. So actor and actress will be considered to be a pool. And from there, each person is considered individually. And that is why we are always going to use has in case of each. All right. Even though and was present over there, but because each is present at the beginning, so we are going to use has. Now, I think these are the last set of sentences. So please unmute Anirudh. Okay, sir. Yes, Anirudh. Sir, it will be is. Six years is a long time to spend away from your family. All right. Sir, do you have a class from 1130? No, sir. Okay, so then I want to complete this exercise today. All right. Uh, sir, please unmute Pratishtha. I'm unmuting Brijan. All right. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, Brijan. Either Alice or Mary is responsible for this. Is responsible, right. Because we are using either Alice or Mary. And since uh, Mary is closer and you can see that Mary is a singular subject. That is why we will use is with it. All right. Okay, Pratishtha. So it will be this species of apples are apes. found in Indonesia. Apes are found in Indonesia. No, it will be is only. Why? Because we are talking about, you say that uh, uh, apes is present, but you should see that we are talking about a particular species. Here the focus is on this species, right? Yes, sir. Are you understanding? Yes. So that is why we are going to use is over here that this species is found in Indonesia. All right. One more angel has been So basically, uh, this is uh, basically a concept of, you can say a collective noun or something because lots of apes are there, but they are considering uh, to uh, a species, a group, right? So over here, this species is basically giving us an idea of a collective noun. That is why we are using is over here. Yes, sir, please unmute Angel now. Maybe she can answer. Yes. Yes, 
Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. So the answer will be all of the cake batter is poured into a grease pan. Yes. Why is because you can see all is uh, again uh, a plural thing, but over here you can see cake is present, right? And cake is something that is uh, un uh, you can say a singular subject over here. Cakes are not present. If it was cakes, then we would have used something different. But over here, since only cake is present, that is why we are going to use singular verb. All of the cake batter is good. All right. Now, sir, unmute another angel, 7C. Too many angels here. Yes, angel. They are ghosts also or not? Only angels are present. Yes, Angel. All of the students. Not understanding, Angel? I think her video froze a word. So please yeah. unmute Pratishtha. Okay. Yes, Pratishtha. Sir, it will be all of the students have to report at 6 o'clock because students is a plural. Yes. So, see, all of the is same in both the cases. But because over here it was singular, cake was there, so we use is, that is singular verb. But over here, all of the students we are talking about. So, students is present over here, that is why we are going to use have. All right. Now, this pair of scissors, Pratishtha, do this one also. This pair of scissors are missing. I don't think you people listen to me when I tell you. I have repeated time and again that for scissors, trousers, pants, they are plural. But whenever you will use a pair, this pair with them, they will become singular. I have repeated this thing at least twice or thrice up till now. But then also this pair is present over here. Then also you are using plural. How should I teach you then? I have already told uh, twice or thrice in the beginning that whenever you will use pair with pants, scissors and trousers, they will become singular because we are talking about a particular pair. So it becomes singular, but you don't listen. Is missing. All right, no problem. Be attentive next time. Yes. All right, so please unmute Anirudh. He has both hands raised up. Yes, Anirudh. Good morning, teacher. Sir, the answer will be my trousers are stitched, stitched by a All skilled right. tailor. Good, good. First of all, tell me you have class or not from uh, 11.30? You have? So they have a class. They are checking their head. So. Quickly go. 